Today I'm going to test the gold content in these four watches that are gold. One of them is 14 karat and th this one is 14 karat and the others are 18 karat. And then I have a 24 karat little ingot to use as a, a test sample. And I'm going to use this, this gold testing kit from Germany. It's Augusta Technik. Um, and the way this works is you have a, a stone, you treat it with this, this uh, contrasol, which is kind of like an oil. And I think the point of this is that it causes the acids to, to pool. It's kind of like epilam. And then you make little streaks on the stone. So we'll, we'll do like a reference that's just the um, 24 karat gold. And then we'll do, I kind of want to do this one last. Let's do Do the 14 carat. And then IWC, this is 18 carat. And then Eternomatic, also 18 karat. And then, I hate to do it to this one, but I, I, this is the one I really want to know. That's fine. And then I'm also going to do the buckle on this. And I'm also going to do the free ring. Okay, now you can see We can start with, well, we can start with the, the way that they recommend doing is check to make sure that it's gold at all. So it starts with this, this one is um, eight carat. So if it doesn't, if you don't get, um, basically if this acid dissolves any of these, then, okay, so this was our 24. And then the 14, and then the IWC. Eterna. Omega. So that's what you expect. Nothing is changing there. It, it could take a couple of minutes, but basically, um, the eight carat, the acid that is testing for eight carat is not. So the next, it's not taking away any of them. So they're all, they're all gold. The next one we'll do is fourteen carat. So I'm just going to start here, there, there. There, 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 there. So they should all be fine with 14 karat. And then when we get into 
this 18 karat, this acid should disintegrate the second one, which is this. So this one shouldn't survive this. The rest of them should. Oops, I mixed those two acids, but this is the important one. So you can see already the, the Eterna, the 14 carat, that's going away because that is 14 and we put the acid for 18 on it. So that means 14, 8 yes, 14 yes. 18 no. And these other ones are, are doing okay. So everything else is 18 carat or higher. I guess I could try 24. None of these are, are, are going to survive that. I didn't really plan this for 24. Oh, the, the 24 will survive it. I'm going to put a drop of 24 right here. Oh, wait. No, that's not right. Put it here. Ugh. I'll put it right here at the start. So this is the body of, the, of this watch. And that, that should be 18, so it should not survive that. You can see the buckle and the free ring are starting to disappear there, too. Could have done a better job with the stripe, I mean, with the samples, the dots. Okay, so you see even the body of this in the 24 karat acid is starting to go. And otherwise, everything is as expected. So everything in this collection is as it's labeled, which is cool. That's it. Should we look at that on the microscope? There's no reason. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Thanks. Uh, See you on the next one.